Thank you for coming. So I am. Uh, uh, I have a more of a technical approach for for this same stuff. And uh, Timo also uh, mentioned some of the stuff already. So let's see. Uh, so we are in. Uh, we have our code in GitHub. Uh, the main two main repositories are the Oscari server and Oscari frontend. And we have a sample template repository for both of them. So the main code resides in those Oscari server and frontend. But for customizing your own Oscari instance, picking up uh, or selecting the features you want included in your application, you can have an example of those in the sample repositories. So what we've been doing in a year, uh, the old user interface is mostly done with jQuery, and we are migrating towards React. Uh, Oscar is modular in a way that we can pr uh, do gradual pro uh, progress on it. So these are the functionalities that we've achieved last year. So importing data sets for the users, uh, map legend, search, and the legend and classification use user interface for statistical maps. And also my data, which is a bit different because uh, it's more of a container for other functionalities to inject their user interfaces into. But now we have a nice API that, uh, for example, the listing of users' embedded maps or features or saved views uh, can be shown on the my data. And we have a pattern for React to use for React on that kind of stuff that we will use in other upcoming migrations. And while doing the migrations, we have uh, gotten a few more cool things on the component library that we have for, for React. So anything for windowing and notifications, banners, those components are ready. We have the visual style, style editor for, for uh, vector features uh, that can be easily integrated for any custom um, functionalities that require styling. Uh, we have a localization component, so if you are using multilingual Oscari instance, you can just drop in this component to have a u user interface for admins or end users to give localized names, names for things. Uh, also a rich text, text editor and for error handling an error boundary comp component. Uh, next up, theming. So initial progress, we want to have a JSON representation of the theme so we can save it on the database and for any embedded maps that the users do, they could uh, have a custom theme for their embedded maps. And we've worked uh, quite a bit for improving the feature, uh, vector feature, uh, functionalities. Uh, again, the visual style ed editor is really nice. And Timo already mentioned the API that we, uh, that the developers can use to programmatically get the, all the vector features that are on the map. That's a big improvement. And it's also exposed on the RPC API. Uh, we have a centralized uh, mechanism to to <laughs> um, select features or get that information which vector features are selected, so it's easy to use that. RPC, you can do, do more things with it, basically. I'm running out of time. So on server, we did a full rewrite of the uh, OGC service capabilities, parsing and handling, and that's a big improvement. And well, Timo mentioned layer analytics. And you can also, for cloud environments, you can do configurations with environment variables, variables now. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>